Hello, this is the third episode of Analytics Byte series. I am Mustafa Düzok and I am a senior solutions architect at AWS Startups. In this video, I'll be talking about using streaming analytics to get insights from your real-time data. Before we get started, I want to go over our agenda for this video. To start with, I will recap the content discussed in the previous video, which is start your journey with serverless data lakes. Following that, common use cases for streaming analytics to be discussed. Next, the value of streaming data and how getting real-time insights may benefit for businesses to be described. After that, I will talk about Core AWS services for data ingestion, storage, and processing of streaming data. Finally, I will explain reference architectures to address different challenges across different business verticals. Modern data architectures allow startup customers to think big, start small, and scale fast. In the previous video, benefits of building a modern serverless data lake is described with core services, reference architectures, and customer stories. Data lakes are foundational pieces for building a modern data architecture, which allows you to make better business decisions and gain insights within your data faster and more efficiently, which is very important for startup customers. With data lakes, you can store exabytes of data cost-effectively. You can separate the storage and compute and integrate your data with machine learning and analytical engines to get insights out of it. Before we talk about streaming analytics use cases, first I want to focus on the value of streaming data and why it is important to get insights out of this data. The value of real-time data is important when making proactive decisions in your solutions. Failing to act in real-time can translate to real losses. The more the data ages, you lose the ability to take time-critical decisions on top of it. Stream processing allows analytical insights to be gathered and acted upon instantly on high-volume, high-velocity, real-time data, where batch processes cannot. Depending on the use case, such as real-time fraud detection or real-time marketing recommendations, it is important to analyze the data real-time and provide a proactive response where streaming analytics comes into picture. Real-time data analytics consists of different stages to move the streaming data from sources to destinations. Sources are different applications, system components and devices which generate high-velocity data. Stream ingestion is collection and ingestion of data from various sources in real-time. Stream storage is persistence of data in the order it is received for a set of duration. Within this period, the data can be replayed as many times as desired. Stream processing is applying real-time analytics or streaming ETL to the records which are read from the stream storage. Destinations are the storage for processed data. Most commonly, these are data lakes and data warehouses. The destination can be databases as well, but which is less common. Streaming analytics can apply to very broad range of use cases, such as processing log data, marketing, sales, business analytics, device and sensor management, and so on. I'll be talking about the most common use cases where streaming analytics can be applied. First use case for adapting streaming analytics is log monitoring. Collecting, aggregating, and getting insights from the logs help to determine overall system health. It is important to collect and process logs as fast as possible across different applications within the solution stack so that, in case any issues with certain components of the system, the operation teams can react immediately to avoid service disruption and apply any mitigation steps. Setting up dashboards with processed and aggregated data is also an efficient way to react to such situations. For IoT device management, monitoring connected devices in real-time can provide valuable information that can help you to maintain the reliability availability, and the performance of your devices. You can track time series data to gain insight on the device connectivity and activity. These insights can help you to detect anomalies in real time and react quickly to changing conditions and emerging situations. For businesses, analyzing the consumer online activities such as visited pages, click stream data, gives the capability to identify customer behaviors and offer customized solutions 
by using recommendation engines. By using streaming data analytics, the customer data can be collected and analyzed in real time, and the insights are identified from the patterns, which can lead to instant and better recommendations. It is important to reach targeted audiences fast in digital ad and marketing business. By using real-time streaming analytics to analyze advertising data, faster engagements can be established with the end users. For better gaming experience, it is important to process the real-time data to all the users within the game so that every user can react and decide their strategies based on the current information available, such as using live dashboards, the live dashboards and aggregated data for multiple users. This can be achieved by processing the gaming data in real time using streaming analytics. AWS offers different services for stream ingestion, storage and processing of the streaming data. In this section, I'll be talking about Amazon Kinesis and Amazon Managed Streaming for Apache Kafka, Amazon MSK. Amazon Kinesis offer different services for ingestion, storage, and processing. Amazon Kinesis Data Streams is used for collecting and storing large streams of data records in real time. You can use Kinesis Data Streams for fast and continuous data ingestion and aggregation. Amazon Kinesis Firehose loads the streams into data lakes, data warehouses, and analytical services. It is an ingest, transform, load, or ITL solution with no code required. Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics runs your Apache Flink applications continuously and scales automatically without managing servers. It processes data with subsequent latency from different data sources such as Kinesis Data Streams and Amazon MSK. Amazon MSK is a fully managed Apache Kafka service for capturing and storing data streams. It eliminates the operation overhead of provisioning, configuring, and managing Kafka clusters. Amazon MSK Connect allows users to configure and deploy a connector using Kafka Connect with just a few clicks. Kafka Connect is an open source component of Apache Kafka for connecting to external systems such as relational and non-relational databases, file streams, etc. And now, in this section, I will describe reference architectures for streaming analytics use cases. I'll be talking about log handling, device management, and fraud detection. All system components within a solution stack generate lots of monitoring data, such as disk space usage, memory consumption, CPU utilization, and logs. The more the data is produced by the systems, it gives better insights to issues, which leads to faster action taking and implementing mitigations on top. However, there is a challenge. The challenge is that collecting such massive amount of data efficiently and processing it for end users takes time. With streaming analytics, this challenge can be resolved. In this reference architecture, all the raw metrics are streamed through Amazon Kinesis data streams. In the first scenario, Amazon Kinesis data analytics is used to run stateful complex data processing, for example, calculating an average CPU utilization in the last 15 minutes, and sending this data into another Kinesis data streams. Based on the defined thresholds, the Lambda functions can trigger an SNS topic to notify the users via chosen communication channel. For example, sending a Slack message to operations team if the CPU utilization exceeds 60%. In the second scenario, the Amazon Kinesis data analytics aggregates the raw metrics and Amazon Kinesis Firehose sends the raw data into Amazon OpenSearch. Using Amazon OpenSearch, dashboards and log, and log analytics better insights from the data can be gathered, which will lead to faster reactions to system issues. And in this reference architecture for managing IoT devices and sensor data, it is important to get accurate, real-time view of quality of service and issues experienced by the customers. Existing batch processing systems struggle to perform with such massive amount of data sent from sources. It takes long time to understand the current state of the devices, and it cannot give a real-time view to the customers. With this solution in this diagram, the data ingestion service collects the device data, sends the information real-time to Amazon Kinesis data streams. In the first scenario, Lambda function reads the streaming data and persists the data into Amazon DynamoDB. The current state of the device can be viewed by different client applications. In the second scenario, 
Data aggregation is done by Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics and the aggregated data is sent to Amazon Open Search to store and index the device data. Using Amazon QuickSight, Visual Interactive Dashboard can, can be built on top of this process data. You may remember that Amazon QuickSight is explained in Episode 2 of Analytics Bytes for visualizing and getting insights on serverless data lakes. Another common use case for streaming analytics is real-time fraud analysis. Online transactions take an important part of our shopping experience. For a continuous and secure user experience, identifying fraudulent transactions are very critical. An example for this use case can be validating payment transactions against fraudulent behaviors within customer-facing applications in real time. In this design, the payment transactions generated are stored in Amazon MSK. Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics Service consumes the transaction from Amazon MSK and invokes Amazon Front Detector Service to decide if an existing transaction is fraudulent or not. As Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics can scale automatically, it can handle the increasing volume of incoming streaming data. The process transactions is written into another MSK topic, and Lambda function reads and evaluates the fraud response. If the transaction is fraudulent, it triggers an SNS service to notify via a chosen communication channel, such as email, SMS, or Slack, or etc. One important note I want to call out here is that to have an accurate prediction model to, to determine fraudulent transactions, the quality and the volume of the underlying data set is important. Using modern data architectures discussed in this video series, data across various sources can be collected in raw format. Applying cleaning and normalization step on top will allow this final data set to be an input to train the Amazon Chrome Detector service for better predictions. Now, I will briefly touch upon the contents of the next video. With ingested and processed streaming data, it is possible to build incremental data pipelines and analyze big tables using transactional data lakes. The next video will cover extending serverless data lakes with transactional file format, where the benefits, common use cases, and reference architectures to be discussed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.